What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, Tony T, and I'm back at it again with another video. And man, when I tell y'all, this drop right here is crazy, bro. So, so crazy. Um, although there wasn't any Cowboys, this, this drop was still amazing. All right, so we got Vernon Davis right here. 98 speed, 99 speed on any theme team uh, with the Journeyman Strat item. Um, he hits all the thresholds. The only thing I don't like about this card is he can't run block. But, I mean, it is what it is. You can put him at safety or you can put him at um what? You can either put him at receiver or just play him at tight end if you pass the ball a lot. But, um, yeah, this card is crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy card right here. All right. Now we got Devin Hester, 99 speed. Hits all the route thresholds. 96 jump, 97 catch. Great call right here, man. And he gets a good ability for zero AP. All right. Now we got Antonio Antonio Cromartie, big tall corner. Love I love to see it. A uh, nice tall corner, 99 speed on any theme team, 97 excel, 98 agility, 99 jump, 99 press. I love this card, bro. I love this card. Hopefully he doesn't get beat a lot with the uh, short out. He probably will, but still nice card right here. Now we got Eric McNair. I think this might be the best quarterback in the game. It all depends on his release. If they switch it to, um, if they switch it to Slinger three, other than, um, fuck, what am I trying to say? If they if they switch his release to Slinger three instead of uh, Gen three, he'll by far be the best quarterback in the game. But uh, yeah, all right. Now we got Mike Vrabel. Last but not least, ninety four speed, ninety seven speed on that theme team. But, um, yeah, this card is pretty mid. I ain't going to lie. Uh, he's not better than any other AKA players. And, uh, yeah, I mean, decent for that, what, Patriots theme team, whoever else he played for. So, uh, yeah. All right. Now, this, these two cards right here, bro, that's coming up, Budget Beast for real, bro. Seriously. These are great cards for your theme team. If you're not a God Squad or you don't have a good theme team, like you don't have all your players for your theme team, and you need a cornerback, bro. I think he's 6'3", either 6'3", or 6'5", one of those. Great corner right here, bro. Tall, fast, good zone. The only thing that's not good is his press, but, I mean, it is what it is. If you play in zone, you should be fine. But, um, yeah, the play rate kind of turns me off as well. But, I mean, still a good call right here, man. All right. Now we got Devin Hester, um, 98 speed as a strong safety. That's crazy. 94 hit power is good too. 98 zone, 97 man. Really, really good call right here, man. All right. Now we got receiver uh, Antonio Camardi. Eh, I mean, he's all right. I guess you could use him as a budget beast as well. But yeah, so eh. All right. All right. Now we got the abilities so for um vernon davis he gets deep out elite for one deep in mid in and route tech all for one ap um then in a bull in ability bucket too um he gets red zone threat runoff elite short out elite and uh, short in elite all for zero ap and then um he gets deep out elite deep in mid in and route tech for one ap and bucket two and then in bucket three, he gets short in elite, um, deep out, deep in, mid in, and route tech all for one AP. Um, what I would do if if I were y'all, I would put this card at receiver. And um, yeah, I would run short out elite for zero AP, and then I would run short in elite for one AP. Get that short out and short in, short in for one AP. That wouldn't be bad. All right. So now we're on Devin Hester. And. Um, yeah route tech for one evasive uh red zone threat deep in elite all for one ap all right in ability bucket two he gets uh return man short out short in and deep out elite all for zero ap i'm gonna throw that uh return man on him um hopefully he won't be that much uh tomorrow and if he is i'll just wait a couple days honestly or i'll just wait a week or so to buy him but he's gonna be a really good card especially with that um, return man. All right. 
All right. So we got um, in the third or in the second bucket, route tech, evasive, red zone threat, and deep out or deep in elite for one. And then in the last one is route tech, evasive, red zone threat, and deep in again for one AP. So, uh, yeah, other than um, return, man, this card is really useless. I mean, but you can use them as a uh, as a, <clears throat> as an actual receiver, like a slot receiver, because I think it's like five ten, five eleven, maybe. But um, yeah, good receiver for the for those theme scenes, man. All right, now um, we got Antonio Cromartie. I think this is probably the best card out of the whole drop. Um, deep route KO for one, mid zone short short route. Medium route, all for one. Inside shade, pick artist for zero. Uh, deep out zone KO and flat zone for one. Like, wow, bro. Deep route KO, mid zone, short route, and then medium route again. And then in the last bucket, he gets one AP short out. Uh, one, one AP short out. One AP inside shade, deep out zone KO, flat zone KO, deep route KO, mid zone KO, short and medium route KO off for one AP. So you can throw inside shade and freaking uh pick artists for one AP, bro. That... Yeah, we we in end game for real now, y'all. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> All right, now we got Air McNair right here, man. Um High Rock Master one AP, Pass Lead Elite, two AP, Sefi Lead one AP, um, no look dead eye one AP. And then in the custom ability bucket, zero AP fearless, zero AP gunslinger, zero AP dash and dead eye and fast break. Then he gets high route master, pass lead elite, Sefi lead, and no look dead eye. And then he gets high route master, pass lead lead, pass lead elite, Sefi lead, and then no look dead eye and fearless. So really, you can use four AP on this guy. Um, what I would do is I would put high route master for one. Fearless for zero, and then I will put Pasley to lead, and then, oh wait, no, 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 I'm tweaking, I'm tweaking. I will put High Rock Master, then I will put Gunslinger, and I will put, um, s no, not Sefi Lee. I will put Pasley to lead, and then I will put uh, Fearless for one AP. So that's one, two, yeah, that's four AP, bro. Yeah, that's four AP. Four AP for all that. Even though, uh, Stabler gets it for one or no, he gets all four for three AP. He still that left hand messed him up, bro. Like, why would y'all pick a left handed quarterback? EA Sports, but anyways, <coughs> excuse me. Anyways, um, we got Mike Vrabel right here. No outsiders for one AP, extra elite for one AP. But this card is trash, dog. What the f okay, you can put double or nothing on him or defensive rally for zero AP. Then we got no outsiders, extra elite, tackle supreme, crusher, double or nothing, no outsiders, extra elite, tackle supreme, crusher. Yeah, this uh, EA Sports. What the heck? Y'all could have made anybody but Mike Vrabel, bro. Mike Vrabel, bro, he's going to be so cheap tomorrow because of how bad of a card this is. Like, other than freaking double or nothing or defensive rally. This card is useless, bro. In my view. In my view. This card is useless. But, um, yeah. Uh, and with the other cards, the set cards, um, I don't know the abilities or whatever. Hopefully, they get good abilities. But, um, yeah, man. That's pretty much it for today. Um, if you made it this far in the video, comment Ultimate Legends. And comment which ones you want. Or which ones you think about picking up tomorrow. And, um, yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to hit that like button, man. Share with your friends. Share with your family. Share to whoever. But um, once again, thank you guys for watching, man. I'll holler at y'all in the next video. Peace.